Welcome back. Today we're out here on the back porch and I have next to me a present. For my birthday, my husband bought me a wood stove to go in my tent. So today we're going to assemble it, burn off anything that might be on it from the factory that we don't want to breathe in, and then go put it up in my tent. Hey. So. Oh, instructions, those are helpful. Caden is here today to help me attempt to assemble it. Oh, it looks like it might just pull out in one piece. I believe what I read when I bought it for you, all the pipe is inside the wood stove. Oh, okay. Ah, the little door is so cute. <laughs> it's so tiny. Oh, it's the cute little glass that goes in the front of the door. This is the cutest little door I've ever seen. Does it come with the screws and everything? It should, yeah. And that's the air vent. Trying to figure out what order to put the pipe on. This one has the flue control. And my tent has two different stove jacks, so we'll have to see which one we want to use. Oh, it's wobbling. Maybe we should have done the legs before the, the pipe. Are they just fold out? Yep. Little racks on the side to set things on. All right, now we're gonna chop some wood up so that we can get it burning. We need to know what size of wood to chop, actually. So it's 14 inches deep. And the opening is five and three quarters wide. So you want small wood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, lots and lots of it. Okay, so I've got some of my fat wood there on the bottom and some little wood on the top that I'm gonna try to get lit right here. Oh, I forgot this lighter's not good. We already had to put a little nut on the back of this because when I opened the door, the screw came right off. Can we pause? And then that one's going to burn very well. We took this little thing off for now because it was smoking out the front really bad. All right, we've got smoke coming out the top. We put the little lid back on and everything. As it heats up and starts doing its thing, we're coming across some things that we need to tighten. Everything just seemed a little loose, maybe from shipping, so just tighten up some screws, adjust some handles as we go. But it's already putting off, you know. Some serious heat. Some good heat, so. We were thinking when we looked at it that maybe it wouldn't be able to heat up my tent, but it's already putting off some good heat. You know, maybe hit that one more time. That'd be your big pieces of wood. but I wouldn't want them any bigger than that. That's about as big as you want in there. You don't want to overheat that and melt it. That's cause a true. problem. So that's your little, starting your little wood stack. I smell your campfire or wood. I don't know what I smell. So I went in the house and we had an extra one of these temperature things. And I'm gonna put it on here and see if we can get a reading on how hot this thing's burning. It's slowly going up. So we were wondering if this old gauge was still accurate. So we went inside and got the new temperature gauge. And if you look, they're both pretty darn close to the same. So I think they both work. And we're right in our best operation range. All right, so the stove is nice and hot right now. So I thought it would be fun to see if I could try to cook something on here. So Junior hasn't eaten lunch yet. And I thought I would try to cook his turkey burger on here. 
not much was happening and I checked and my fire was kind of dying out inside so I put a little bit more wood in and not too long later we got some cooking going on. Yep, I'd say that bad boy's about done. Maybe you should come pick up all the wood for me. I got one more burger to throw on. Instant. Instant fry. And I got caught up taking that last hamburger off and I didn't film it. <laughs> this plate the kids had made for Junior as a Father's Day present when they were really little. And it was supposed to be the... It was a kit so that you could, you know, bake it and the paint was supposed to stay on and it was supposed to be dishwasher safe and, like, it wasn't. But we still enjoy it. And while I was cooking, Junior's been over here just working away, making me all kinds of kindling to go up in my tent. I've been corrected. It looks like kindling, but it's actually the firewood for my little stove. <laughs> so we've had this burning for several hours and we got it nice and hot and we're just gonna let it to continue to burn out and then tomorrow morning we'll go up and put it in my tent. So here it is in my tent. There's the door. There's the stovepipe hole will go out. Um, obviously we're gonna try to put something underneath it uh, to protect the ground from it a little bit. And there is a stove jack on the other side that we could try but I believe this is the one that we were thinking of. Here's my little stack of firewood. That should last me for quite some time. So I really like how this stove is working out for us and I'm super excited to put it into use, maybe spend the night up here, do some winter camping. Uh, I have a lot of big plans, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.